Welcome to the introductory section of the audio logs of the Stonemason's journey. The audio logs will be a library of all the progress and thoughts presented and archived through unedited vocal excerpts and written transcripts, expressing my ponderings and ideas as I develop them. You may call me Fabio, the person behind the Kekulukia signature name. I am a visual storyteller, and most of you might know me from my Twitch years painting flow and conversing through it as it was being developed. The stonemason theme came to me after my first leg of my travels. Initially, after the completion of Flow, I, I swore that I would stay off art for quite some time. And about 10 months later, while in my travels, art started to introduce its way back to me. I would walk and experience the beauty of the Northern Europe, and the urge came to express both in words and illustrations of what I was feeling inside. Such diversity in culture and rich history allowed me to open up my mind to what came before that I now witness and experience in front of me. Through the creation of my traveling art page on my website, through my reflective blogs and the new poetry section, I, I began opening myself to the many languages of art that I kept locked before. The idea of capturing places I have traveled through on a monthly drawing session depicting my experiences and personal undertakings, sparking a number of drawing, poetries, and paragraphs with each having their own detailed and analytical emotional backgrounds that were deeply rooted in my surroundings. After working on that for a few months, naturally, the, the idea of the stonemason came to me. This here idea the Stonemason is a short story written and illustrated through a uniquely interactable concept of uncovering a layered story behind an array of interactable objects in the composition. In having hand-drawn illustrations to accompany the literature reflecting what was being described, a story that takes place around this figure in his old age in a tower up on a hill, a covering his life through his statues and surroundings, tackling themes such as isolation, remorse, love, loss, and the impact of war. All represented in a creative way on how the layers of story would commence and be delivered to the observer. By using all these tools and lessons I learned through my travels and acting as inspirations, the places, places I have visited, a very fascinating approach in tackling a story that has nothing to do with the big paintings as my former theme had, but much rather the willingness of the viewer to explore and see by their own interests. The basis of my art has been to reward people in the amount of time they dedicate to it. Coming off from that idea, this here story will emphasize on that, creating a story that if read for its face value, it, it, it will have quite a linear buildup resulting in a two-dimensional scope. But if interacted and questioned within the illustrated design's environments, the viewer will begin to uncover and understand the many layered out secrets and details that were added to it, discovering rich story pieces and the depth of the personality of the stonemason, all scattered around his environments, delving deeper into his mind and his many perplexed ideas acting as interactable points in the drawings, much like puzzles to be pieced together and pondered over. You will discover both first-person written pages and lots of objects and hints in uncovering both the timeline that the story is in, but also what caused the version of the current stonemason to exist, and what made him come to such a conclusion. The logs will take the format of my stage-to-stage -stage troubleshooting of what I'm struggling with or what worked or didn't work and what is what I'm going to be working on and etc. The story will be broken in three arcs, the first one coming out most probably by the end of November or December 2023 and the other two arcs coming in two to three months between each other uh, depending on how my creativity guides and allows me to. The logs will be more or less weekly to keep you up to date on what is currently being worked on and tackled on in the story. It is my hope by the end of the Stonemason story arc to move this away from its initial digital delivery and have this 
in a physical book format that will serve as a character of both interesting literature but a unique way of uncovering stories through a marriage between arts. If anyone wishes to support this new journey, there will be links to my tier sub list along with a donation section in the description to help my to help the journey through this new theme with fewer distractions. The best thing supporting this is through the tier sub from my website, as it gives you rewards in return. I will also require some designated playtesters that have the time and energy in testing many of the delivery aspects of the story, as they are interactables through the website. Thus, I will need to know how they are coming across and how to refine them and present them better. If you're interested in this and don't mind some spoilers, uh, let me know by email or through a direct message on Instagram. Every person who donates or subs or helps in any way will be written in the thank you notes page of the book. I sincerely do hope this new journey serves as a unique exploration of interacting with art and questioning it at a personal level with the tools and perspectives that will be expressed and taught by these entry logs and the many discoveries that will be found in the story. Please do feel free to leave comments and interact with the logs, adding feedback and ideas that might interest you or wish to be raised. Without further ado, this here marks the beginning of my new theme, date of recording 23rd of October 2023. Let the stonemasons archiving and exploration begin. <laughs>